In this tutorial, we're going to learn how formulas work in SolidWorks. I'm going to start by creating a sketch. Okay, let's apply some dimensions now with the Smart Dimension tool. The vertical line will be 5 millimeters long, and our horizontal line will also be 5 millimeters long. Click OK. I'm finished with the sketch now, so I'll exit it. And I'm going to activate the Sheet Metal tool. If you don't have this icon on your toolbar, you can right click and select it. Next, I'm going to activate the Base Flange tool and select my sketch. Let's just adjust a little bit here. We're going to look at the Normal 2 view. You see on our left here the Base Flange Manager. We're going to explain the various control boxes here in a later tutorial. Right now, let's focus on the thickness of the material in the box called Sheet Metal Parameters. The bend radius here will be 1 millimeter. Let's hit tab. The bend allowance will be calculated based on the K factor of 0 0.5. Now, let's apply the formula we learned in our previous lesson. Let's review this formula again. Bend allowance, or BA, equals 2 pi multiplied by the bend angle which in our case, as you see here, is 90 degrees, multiplied by the sum of the bend radius, the inside radius here, you see, plus the K factor, multiplied by the thickness, which as you can see here, is 1 millimeter. Right here you can see that our bend radius is 1 millimeter, and down below you see that our K factor is is 0 0.5. Divide all of this by 360. This gives us a bend allowance of 2.36. Let's click OK. Now we're going to apply the Flatten tool. Hit Escape to return back to the pointer. Now let's activate the Measure tool. We're going to use the measure tool to check the distance of the bend allowance segment. We see that the length of this segment is indeed 2.36 millimeters. Let's clear that out. What about the total length of this flattened part? We have here a total length of 10.36 millimeters. Let's see how SOLIDWORKS calculated this number. First, let's disable the Flatten tool. Now, we're going to right-click on the Base Flange feature and edit that feature. As you see here, the length of the Flatten sheet, as we measured previously, is equal to the sum of lengths 1, and 2. As you see here in our case, both of these lengths are 5 millimeters apiece. So the sum of lengths 1 and 2 minus 2 times the bend radius plus the bend allowance. As a result, our length is 10.36 millimeters. One more thing. I'm going to check the Reverse Direction checkbox. See what happens? The part, instead of being created outside the sketch, was created inside the sketch. The total flattened length of the part also changes, of course. Let's see how this works and how SOLIDWORKS calculates this. Now, the total length of the flattened part equals length 1, plus length 2, which are still 5 millimeters each in our case, minus 
the bend radius times 2, minus the thickness times 2, plus the bend allowance. As a result, we have a final length of 8.36 millimeters. Let's check this by measuring. First, enable the flatten tool. Now activate the measure tool. And we are going to now check our measurements. As you see here, we have a total measurement of 8.36 millimeters. The dimension of the bend allowance segment has stayed the same, of course, at 2.36 millimeters. And this concludes our tutorial on applying the K factor.